It's FSN Rewind, where tonight's matchup was the Chantilly Chargers and the Robinson Rams. I'm Dave McHugh alongside Adam Pohl. Let's take a look at the highlights from this one. And it started early on the first drive for Robinson Wilson, the six-yard pitch for the touchdown. 7-0 on a 64-yard drive. And for Chantilly, they struggled, though. This might have been the only highlight from the first quarter. Yeah, this was a special teams play as well, a great return. But Chantilly in the first quarter did not register a first down. That would not be the case, though, for the rest of the game. To begin the second quarter off the punt, first ball or play from the line of scrimmage, Wilson fumbles the ball. Kearns would pick this one up and set up Chantilly on the 25-yard line of Robinson. Yeah, and offensively, this is where the Chargers would get going. Romine, the one-yard touchdown here, ending that drive, tying the game at seven. Wilson would return the ball on the 50 on the kickoff, and then on the very next play would fumble it, and that would set up Harris for a 38-yard touchdown, ending a 49-yard drive. Chantilly would take its first lead of the game, 14-7, but Wilson wasn't to be outdone. No doubt about it. Look at this big run. Great cut right there, 68 yards. Wilson right up the hash mark for the game-tying score. He was gone by the time he hit the 50. Less than a minute later, it was tied at 14. But on the next dot, drive in the second quarter, Chantilly would start on their own 29-yard line, and Harris would help them get all the way down the field. And nice cut back there, 19 yards later, his second touchdown of the game they would take the 21 14 lead and that would be the end for the game or lead for them they would tack on a 20 yard field goal to end the half smith or sims i should say on the very first drive of the opening second half 65 yard drive he gets a two yard touchdown then smith again on the next drive 85 yards this time he gets a three yard touchdown and they were up 38 14 before anybody knew it wilson would get another chance three yard touchdown there ending a 76 yard drive and making it 38 21, but that would pretty much be it for Robinson as Chantilly would tack on another field goal, win this one 41-21. Chantilly improves to a record of, correction, 7-3 and three overall, while Robinson falls to a record of 5-5. Five and five. DeAndre Harris, 18 carries, 147 yards and two touchdowns. Ross Smith, 21 carries, 83 yards, also two touchdowns. Joe Wilson, 35 carries, 196 yards, three touchdowns, but two costly fumbles that ended up being 14 precious points for Chantilly. After the game, Adam Paul had a chance, up, chance to catch up with the winning coach and the CCI screen printing player of the game. Well, a big win for Chantilly tonight I'm with running back DeAndre Harris and then the head coach Mike Lally here for Chantilly. And Mike, you know, talk a little bit here about you guys got off to a tough start. Are you excited about how you were able to weather that storm in the first quarter? Yeah, the kids, we, we came out and, they, you know, we they started off really strong and we were able to rebound and uh, we got through the first quarter as poorly as we started off and it was only 7 nothing. So I told the guys, like, you know, it's only seven. We played a bad quarter. Now we just got to come back and play a good second quarter. We did. They helped us out with a couple of turnovers, and, and things turned our way. Momentum came our way then. Were you excited, though, about how your players defensively were able to get after the football? It seemed like, you know, throughout the game, especially second, third quarter, you were trying to tear that football away. Well, they did. They, as we got feel for the game, the guys started playing harder and more physical, and they started making plays, and, and the ball came our way a few times. And lastly, it seemed that offensively, you know, didn't have a, a first down of the first quarter, but you got going with the option. How big was it when you got into that I formation and started to get moving again? Well, you know, that's one of our base plays. And when it started to work, we were, you know, we started executing it really well. And it, it kind of really got the team going the, and the momentum going our way and things set up from there. Well, thank you, Coach Lally. And I know that uh, you guys are excited. Most likely a home playoff game next week. Yeah, that's what I hear. We get, we get, we get to host a game now. That's really good for us. Well, let's now talk to running back DeAndre Harris. DeAndre, two touchdowns tonight. Your coach just talked about the option game being a really a big part of your offense. How comfortable do you guys feel uh, when you get those plays to get into the option for the I formation? I love it. I think it's great because Ross is very good at running his line, and I love catching pitches and getting out in space because that's what I'm best at, and yeah. When you were out in space today, I mean, you had a few scores tonight where you were untouched. It, it, it's got to be a great feeling where you're racing down the sideline with everybody in the rearview mirror. It's amazing. I love it. And early in the week, Coach Lally was telling me how I don't, like, always split, sprint through on long runs and stuff. But I was thinking about him in my head when I was running. So I just try not to slow down at all. And lastly, DeAndre, you guys as a team have got to be excited. This is a tough situation coming on the road. Senior night, a game that Robinson needed, and you're able to come up with a big victory, and now you're going to be at home next week in the postseason. Yeah, we get those purple jerseys back. I'm happy about that, and I'm glad to get our seniors another game at home before their season's over. That's just great.
Well, folks, a big win for Chantilly tonight on the road as they win it 41-21 here in the final game of the regular season at Robinson. Adam Chantilly improves a 3-2 and two on the road, perfect position in the playoffs while Robinson suffers their first home loss at 4-1 and one now. For news, highlights, and more, make sure you check us out. But first, also remember the Fairfax Sports Network Game of the Week can be seen on Saturdays and Mondays. Saturdays at 4.30, Mondays at 3.30 on Channel 10 on Cox, Comcast, and Verizon Files. Cable providers or check us out on Facebook. Go to facebook.com slash Fairfax Sports Network and like us for more information. Also for news, highlights, and more, make sure you check us out on FairfaxSportsNetwork.com. And if you'd like a copy of tonight's game or any of the Fairfax Sports Network Games of the Week or other productions, make sure you get to pressboxvideo.com for more information. Once again, Chantilly beats Robinson 41-21. Thank you for tuning in, and good night.